Good evening everybody. I'm not sure whether I posted last night's prayers from YouTube onto Facebook. I can't see anywhere where I actually did that. I think I did but I can't find it. So if you didn't get hold of last night's prayers, I have put them on Facebook and then this is tonight's prayers as well. So for some of you, it might be double prayers tonight, which of course is great. We want as many prayers as we possibly can. It's the start of Christian Aid Week, so my first prayer is to do with uh, really, really committing the work of Christian Aid to God, but also for ourselves to open up a spirit of generosity for the work of Christian Aid and all those uh, working so tirelessly, so faithfully in some of the, the poorest and most horrifying places in this world. So let's pray. Father, we thank you that for one week of the year, we can really do our best to raise money, commit money to the work of Christian aid, the work that continues every single day of every single year and is so dependent on the generosity of Christians. And Lord, we are celebrating Christian aid week very differently this year. We're doing it virtually. There will be things that we can watch on television. There will be things we can watch on our computer screens where we will be updated on the works, on the witness and on the care of this wonderful organisation. And we think over recent years, those members of our congregations who have really been the one to encourage us and inspire us to get behind this organisation. We think of times when we have been together raising money, joining together with, with joy that we could be together, but also with deep gratitude that we have been able to raise so much money. And we know, Lord, that at this time in this year, there are real challenges for this. So we pray that our hearts will be opened with a, with a new sense of generosity. We commend this organisation to you right now. And Lord, for one week of the year, we really unpack the work, the literature, the stories. But as we have just prayed, we know that it's not just one week of the year that the faithful brothers and sisters serve so tirelessly and loyally and diligently. It's every day of every year, making a difference and changing lives. And Father, we are scared. We are scared when we see pictures of, of refugee camps, whether we see uh, pictures in communities where there is so much overcrowding and, and so little sanitation. And we fear, Lord, for these places at all times, but even more so with this coronavirus. Lord, we pray that the work would take place to just help and minister in those situations to bring peace to bring to bring care to bring love and to bring hope and to bring running water to bring soap to bring medicine the things that we just take for granted so we pray, Lord, for Christian aid. Help us to not be numbed when we see things, not be desensitised, but may your spirit work in and through us and help us be the support this organisation needs. And Father God, we... We thank you for the day that we have had. 
this Sunday, another Sunday where we have not been together physically. But we thank you that we have been able to be with you in your presence and in your pastures, in our homes. And Lord, we know that some families are really struggling at this time. And we commend those that we know to you. By your grace and by your mercy, with your justice and in your love, we pray that they and we are held. And so, Father God, as another day draws to its close, we pray for a peaceful night. May we reflect on the beauty of the world. But may we also do what we can to bring your light to places of darkness. And so in the name of Jesus, the author of our salvation, we pray now and forever. Amen. Good night, everybody. Take care.